Hey, I'm Rory from the Guitar Ninja, and today we're going to have a look at a beginner riff of the week exercise. This month we're having a look at trying to move up and down the neck a little bit. So we're going to have a play with a position down in the lower frets and some up in the higher frets. So what I've been doing here at the Guitar Ninja is releasing a backing track at the beginning of every month, a beginner riff to go along with that backing track, which is what you're watching now, then an intermediate riff the following week, an advanced one the next week, and then a demo of me playing through them all. So every month there's a backing track and there's a riff for everyone. You can actually get access to all of them at the beginning of the month if you sign up to the Guitar Ninja Academy completely free using the link in the description. So let's jump straight into this. So the first thing we're going to be doing is our sixth fret on the third string. So we've got our sixth fret on the third string. Now I'm going to use my third finger because the next note I'm going to play is the fourth fret on the third string. So I've got my index finger there prepped for it. So the notes we've got are all on the third string. We're going to go six, four, two. We're then going to play that same three notes again. So to get the timing for this, if we were to count as we normally would with music, one, two, three, four. The backing track was going to start on one, and we're going to join in with the two, three, four. So we've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if we hear that with the backing track, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Okay, so we've got this one, two, three, four, and we're not playing on the one. So again, to go over those first two sections, we've got sixth fret with the third finger on the third string, then back to the fourth fret with the index finger, and then back to the second fret, all on that third string. Now, as I said earlier, this is all about going up and down the neck. So what we're going to do now is jump up a whole octave. We're going to stay on the third string, but we're going to come up a whole 12 frets, which means we're going to start all the way up here on 18th fret. So we're going to go 18, 16, 14, doing the exact same pattern we did down here, but this time just once. So third string, 18th fret, third finger. 16th fret, first finger and then back to the 14th fret. If you're fairly new to guitar, then just notice that the fret that's normally got two dots marking it is our 12th fret. So we can count up from there quicker. 12, next dot is 15, next dot is 17. So we're working around these dots. So our first three sections start like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the hardest bit here is getting from this end of the neck all the way up to this end of the neck in that short amount of time and being on the right fret. That is definitely the hardest thing and the bit you're going to have to practice the most. And then our last bar, we're actually going to play on the one this time and we're going to play the 16th fret but on the fourth string. Remember all this time we count upwards, so if you've been playing on the fourth string already, remember the third string, we count up like the stories of a building. One, two, three. Three. So now we are going to play the 16th fret on the 4th string, and I'm going to play this with my 3rd finger. The reason for that is we would have just played 14 with the index finger, so we can put this down without having to move our hand. So if I play all of that again... Notice how that last note seems to come in quicker because it's landing on the one when we're not playing the one on the other sections of the song. So at this point you might want to pause and have a practice at just playing down here to the second fret and then trying to get straight up to 18. Getting from second to 18 accurately and quick is the thing we're going to want to practice most. So it might be worth pausing and just doing this for a while. <laughs> Okay, 
getting that practice in is really going to help. So this is how it now sounds with the backing track. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give that thumbs up and like and consider subscribing. If you found this easy, then remember there is an intermediate section coming out next week. Or if you're on the Guitar Ninja Academy, which you can sign up completely free, you can access this already. If you felt this section was just right for you, then obviously there will be new beginner sections coming out at the beginning of every month. So please consider subscribing if you haven't already. So every month there's a theme along these. So sometimes we start by looking at a technique like a hammer on or a pull off. However, this month we're looking at going from the lower end to the higher end of the neck to get used to moving up and down instead of sticking to one section. That means that as well as the beginner, the intermediate and advanced sections are going to do the same thing where we're going to jump up and down the neck with octave jumps. So comment the suggestions you'd like me to cover in future Riff of the Weeks down below. Think about hitting that like if you haven't. Subscribe and check out the Guitar Ninja Academy and I'll catch you in a new video soon. Bye!